Mandela Reality Consult, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm proceeding from my previous video on proximity analysis. Today, I'm going to show you two additional tools that you can use to carry out proximity analysis. So, today, my video will be centered on near and near table tool. Both tools are proximity related tools and they are usually used to show or give more information about features that are closer to a specific feature or point. And first of all, you need to have data to be able to carry out this exercise or practical demonstration for me i'm having the roads network around the airport residential area in ghana and i also have my builders so i'm going to first of all use the near tool to calculate the distance from the buildings to specific routes so let's go to the arc toolbox to access our tool in arc toolbox you can go to analysis tools and under analysis tools you go to proximity under the proximity tool you come to near so this is the input feature our input feature will be buildings. We want to find out which buildings are closer to roads. So our near feature will be what? Roads. Buildings that are closer to what? what? Roads. And you can add additional features to this to show or to give you information about those Shares. So you come down, you can put radios which is uh, optional, search radio, so that they will give you information about those features with respect to a specific radius or distance. And you can change here to the when you put the distance, you change it to um, the other decimal degrees kilometers meters we have location and angle i want angle and the method method you can use the the planner or geodesic but i will leave it at default then click ok yes our work has been what completed but a new layer has not been added to our table of contents uh, but uh, different attributes have been added to our attribute table on the builder so let's go to our attribute table and this is it near ifid which is the primary key near distance distances that are being uh, calculated near angle near x and near y so distance have been calculated and let us uh, symbolize this uh, borders by using the fid so that we can make meaning out of what we have done so you can go to properties and then come to symbology go to categories and then put um, near fid and then you can change the color on i prefer this and click add all values these are all values so um FID 4 has two count. 
So two buildings are closer to the road with FID, FID4 and so on. You can see the highest is, and the highest is 51. Uh, FID 51 has 15 counts, meaning 15 buildings are closer to uh, FID 51. Then can and that is it. It gives us more visual impression about our work. So, what about if we wanted to know several buildings, how they are closer to rows, or, or how several features are close, closer to a specific point, then that is where the near table comes. When the near table work is calculated or done, a new table is usually generated with attributes. So let's practically demonstrate how the near table tool is used. You follow similar process. You go to Add Toolbox, come to Analysis Tools, come to Proximity, and then click on Generate Near Table. And with this, the input feature will certainly be buildings. We want to find out buildings, several buildings that are closer to what? Roads. Gives us information about several buildings that are what? Closer to roads. You can do the naming here and save it. You can put the uh, search radius here, but it's optional. Can put location, angle, and then find only closest feature, which is optional. But I want, after the work, they should run the top five closest uh, buildings to rows. So five, and then click OK. Yes, a new table has been what created. Let's open the attribute table of this new um, table. Open. And this is it. With object ID 1, input FID 0, near FID 4. With near distances of this. And it is rank 1, number 1 and so on it gives you the input fid the near fid the near distances and how this based on the distances how the buildings or the roads have been what how the buildings have been ranked so that is it so as i indicated earlier on uh, the near and near table tools are similar to uh, the multi buffers and single buffers but this one actually shows the distances uh, between closest object to specific points so thank you very much for watching this video kindly subscribe to my youtube channel to push me forward to do more video thank you very much